All right, welcome back to Mike Apple, the Mike Apple Show. Okay, we're talking about later on uh, tonight, we could see a U.S. government shutdown. Yep. And the market's really not concerned at this point. Not in the short term, Melanie. Good morning. The uh, risk of a U.S. government shutdown, though, does loom large in the political spectrum in the United States. They've actually been without a budget dating back to October last year. They've been doing these short term funding measures to keep the government operations going to pay for things like the military and government services, keeping the uh, national parks open for business, for example. Last time they shut things down from a government standpoint was back in 2013, and that happened in the summertime, which actually affected a lot of American travelers going to national monuments, for example. So there was a lot more concern about it this time, uh, not as much. And from an economic standpoint, if in fact you take the government out of the equation, yes, it does have an economic impact, but it does have to last for several weeks and no one's expecting that at this point. So as it stands right now, we've got the Dow futures doing again, another 100 point gain expected at the opening of trade this morning. The Dow comes in above 26,000. We had earnings in last night from IBM for the first time in five years. Big Blue saw revenue strength on a quarter to quarter basis, but the stock's down two and a half percent. Go figure. It has been one of the best performers on Wall Street so far this year. On the betting line for where Amazon will be putting its second North American headquarters after unveiling the short list of 20, which included the greater Toronto area. Uh, well, uh, Patty Power website, the betting brokerage out of the UK, says that Atlanta and Boston are three to one odds. Uh, they're right at the top of the list of uh, Toronto mid market in and around 14 to one. But some people say that, you know what, it, they could just uh, put it here in Canada, just be a uh, poke in the eye of the Trump administration. You never know, they might go with that, or just because they don't want to rank or uh, Washington, they'll keep it in the United States. Apple will now give iPhone customers the uh, choice whether or not they want to adjust their battery power after uh, running afoul of consumers with that whole battery gate issue where they were throttling back the speed of older iPhones to conserve batteries on upgrades of the iOS. Uh, Tim Cook saying, yeah, you know what, they're going to leave that up to consumers to uh, turn that uh, feature on or off going forward. And United Airlines looking to bring back a little bit of luxury to the skies. Uh, flying has become so pedestrian, so to speak. Uh, recently, uh, United Airlines looking at a premium economy class, which will be obviously more expensive than regular economy, but you will have unlimited drinks, a little bit more legroom, and uh, blankets and pillows from Saks Fifth Avenue that you will not be able to keep, but just to make, uh, this is on international flights of eight hours or longer, just to make those flights a little bit more bearable, going through customs and security notwithstanding. We'll send it back to the studio. But, but if you're not willing to pay the money, then cramp yourself up, yeah. pay through the nose for all, uh, for all of that, and bring your coat to use as a blanket. Yeah, well, United also has a, uh, a service where they just have, here's the seat, and if you want space <laughs> in the overhead compartment, you got to pay extra for that. No kidding. So, there's so many different classes of flying. Oh, it is. U.S. carriers. Yeah, flying used to be wonderful. Thank yes. you, sir.